The reserve on Europa Road would house 111 high-end apartments, which, according to the developer Greg Butcher, would compare in price to those on Queensway and to Mr Butcher's other development, Ocean Village. The proposed development would be 8 to 12 storeys in height and include extensive ledger facilities, with Mr Butcher pointing out that the building was not a new one, but rather a replacement building. His plans had previously secured all the necessary permits, but these had since expired. And Mr Butcher was once again going through the process at the DPC, with the first hurdle being securing approval for the demolition of the derelict casino. He highlighted the state of the building as well as pointing out that it was in serious danger of collapse and destroying the historical water tanks in the process. It was at this stage that he brought out a number of old bottles and put them on display for the board to see, explaining that during assessments it had come to light that the builders of the original building had possibly cut costs by replacing concrete in the foundations of the building with empty glass bottles, many hundreds of glass bottles which he said he'd collected from the site. In his address, Mr Butcher also told the DPC that the project managers had managed to take into account all the necessary recommendations put forward at previous appearances, health and safety, ape management, visual impact, green areas, as well as the preservation and protection of the water tanks beneath the current building, as well as future-proofing them. Mr Butcher said that at this stage he was unable to cost the exercise and the overall development due to various technicalities linked to a few of the new considerations which had been worked into the revised plans. For their part, the DPC was in agreement that the old casino building needed to come down and also congratulated Mr Butcher and his team for having worked with a number of local stakeholders to produce the revised plans. Plans which Mr Butcher described a number of times as having been changed by the people for the local people. The DPC and the developer both agreed to defer decision on the demolition of the old casino for the next meeting of the DPC in order to allow for work on a number of pending issues and recommendations.